Okay, take four. In case you don't know what I'm talking about, we do this unscripted, live, unedited, one take. If I like, screw it up or if I don't like it, I have to start over from the beginning. I don't write anything down. I don't have any idea what I'm talking about. And true to my form, it usually takes me four times to do anything to get it right. What do you, what's this you talk about? Whenever I'm having to do anything, I've been in these hand videos lately. I don't know. They're just, people just do this with their hands and wave it over things. So anyway, it takes me four tries. First time I do it and I screw it up. Second time I do it, I figured out some things in the first time that make the second time easier than the third time. Usually is when I scrap the whole thing because I had a light bulb moment and I figured out the easier way to do it. And then by the fourth time, things smoothed out. Well, when it comes to this, I don't know what I'm going to talk about. I'm trying to fill time. I'm trying to get my thoughts out. And it just doesn't work sometimes. And so it's going to take me four tries, at least. And if it doesn't take me, if I don't get it on this try, forget it. So what are we looking at? Hey, welcome back. It's been over a year. You know what? We had to take some time to ourselves. That was a crazy ride, but it's over. We're going to go on. We're going to move on with our lives. We're going to try to pretend like that didn't happen. And hopefully it never, ever, ever happens again. Now, what do we got here? Oh, this is cool. This is one of the coolest things I've bought in a while. This is a um, set of loop glasses for heavy magnification. Now, it comes with all these. See? So there's, uh, and there's a pair of each one. There's eight, uh, two, four, six, eight, eight different pairs of magnification from 2.5x to 25x. And... I generally use, I have a 4X in the right eye and an 8X in the left eye. And by changing, you know, the focus where I am, you know, because the 4X is out here and then the 8X is in here. And then I can do this weird bionic zoom. And these are great. And, you know, the best part about these were they were less than $20. And they are just immense, immense help to everything that I'm doing with electronics, with numismatics, with everything small so perfect this is the derp light you really can't tell well here let's see if i can turn this on yeah i still got the bright lights on there but like boom. Yeah, it's pretty bright even here in the daylight so but it's it's pretty ridiculous as it sits on your head as a headlamp but you know what i'll take it it's way better than not having enough light so those are two things that i've got going on that are that i've picked up um i also got these this, this is the cheapest pair of calipers I could buy online. They were 10 bucks, And, yeah, they're not special or whatever. But, boy, I don't know what I was doing without a set of these. I don't know how I got along in the shop without them. These, This has already become a, just a ridiculously invaluable tool. Just a cheap, cheap calipers. So I just wanted to say that and show you that and let you know what's going on. And the last time we were talking, we talked a lot about cassettes. We were, that was what we were focusing on. And I just to let you know, we're, woo, hey, we still got a wall of tapes over here, right? We're still kicking it. Um, see, can I zoom in? Sorry about that. I hope you're not having lunch. Well, it still doesn't matter. So we're going to zoom back up. Anyway, we've still got tapes to talk about. We've still got things to explore in the realm of the old music and the music collections that we were talking about. Um, some other things, I, I don't want you to think that I've given up on electronic repair. We've got some old radios here we're kicking. We want to put, this tape deck is not working, so what we want to do eventually is we want to put a Raspberry Pi and a touchscreen in here and have this become a podcast machine somehow, uh, hooked to the internet, and we'll just take the whole tape mechanism out, put the podcast, or put the Pi in there, uh, get it programmed. This is all easier said than done. I have this great, <laughs> so... I have a great vision. I have a broken lamp. You like my lights? Made them out of coffee can and uh, LED um, LED car lights and some hot snot. And I think I've shown you this before, but if you look over here, See that, the three lights, that's the switches that control that and my subwoofer, and that's a 12-volt box, and it's being fed by that gray box on the wall, which is recycled from an original Xbox that no that got Red Ring of Death, but the power supply is just fine. And that provides 120 watts of 12-volt for my lights and my subwoofer and anything else I need on my bench. 
when I don't want to go to my bench power supply, which if you remember, I don't know if you remember when I was building that, but we did. We put, built that and we, I was very proud of that and it still worked great. Um, but you know, when I just need the 12 volts to run the lights and everything, I don't need to go through this. This is for special, special stuff, whatever. Um, so just give you an idea. That's kind of what's going on now. If I, if I bring, let's see, I'll turn these lights on, maybe, and then I can scoop up. Oh, there, oh, there's a couple TVs. I got some TVs that we're going to work on. These are actually, whoa, sorry about that. These are actually working TVs. Yeah, let's see. That's a, uh, that's an MGA 13-inch uh, color TV. This is, uh, I wasn't going to show you this, but I'm not, let's see. sorry about that. That is a, uh, that's a, called a Daytron. It's a color TV that works also. And this is a General Electric black and white. I think that's 11 inches. The, the little baby Quasar over there, he got shipped up here um, and he didn't work. And, but that's okay. He's just a shell and he's going to be something someday too. So we've got a lot of stuff going on. We're still busy bodies all over the place, but, um, decided that we're going to try to be old dogs and learn some new tricks here. What else am I going to show you? I will show you some things that are being sold. My, my radio. Um, we're going to be Old dogs learning new tricks, and actually they're not new tricks. We've decided, as a family, we're going to start doing more artisanal work and more craft work and also more of our curio selling. Um, we kind of got away from it for a few years, and, and things have still built up, and we've got a lot of stuff that is cool for a lot of people, so we're going to start doing it again problem is is that we don't really have a good place for retail because we don't have a good population density where we live and then also well you saw it happened last year for, for retail and then the other thing is that traveling is iffy and whatnot but teaching old dogs new tricks we know those parts of it but put my hand in the video so i got something to wave around here the one thing that we do have that we didn't have five years ago is we have a stable e-commerce culture. So, okay, cool. So stay tuned. Basically, this is what I wanted to say. I want to show you what's going on. I want to say I'm not, we're, we're still alive and kicking here. We're still moving and shaking and that we're going to reactivate this channel. We're going to be starting to do some stuff. I'm showing you some projects. We're going to get into the tapes some more, looking at them. We'll show you some TV stuff, maybe do some repairs. I've got that radio, the radios to work on. We've got all sorts of other stuff. I've got some other surprises for you coming up. So I want you to stay tuned, stay on this. I guess it sounds like the family coming in. So we're going to wrap this up. Fourth try is always a charm. Stay tuned. More to come.